Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is so exciting. We are doing an unboxing of all of the brand new quartz products that came out of RazorCon 2022. As you can see, I already have so many Razor products on my setup. I just literally love the whole quartz collection. I do have to admit, I am not a gamer. I am a programmer, but I just love my setup. And as you guys know, I love pink. And in my opinion, Razor just do the best pink peripherals out there. So here's the spoiler of things that we're going to be unboxing today alongside all of the stuff that I already have from the quartz collection. So let's get into it. I also do just want to say that these products were kindly gifted to me from Razor as a collab and honestly that actually blows my mind. Also welcome to all of my new subscribers um, and if you are new here then please make sure you do hit subscribe but yeah let's get into it. So first I was actually just opening the boxes just to see what was in here because I actually didn't know what they were going to send me and I obviously hadn't watched RazorCon 2022 at this point so I didn't know about these amazing products but oh my gosh I was literally so excited when I saw them. So I started off by unboxing the Orochi, Orochi, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, the wireless gaming mouse because I've wanted a wireless mouse for so long uh, but I could just never find any nice pink ones so I was literally so happy with this. So it comes with the instruction manual just like all Razor products do and the quartz stickers which we love, they're so cute. Um, also in the pack came a battery which I really appreciate, it's the small things that I appreciate because I never have batteries laying around the house honestly. The first thing I noticed is that this quartz seems a little bit different to the older quartz. It seems like just a little bit more pink, but it's still beautiful. Uh, probably more beautiful than the other products, but I don't know if that's just a case of wear and tear. Anyway, it took me ages to figure out where the battery goes, but I finally figured it out. It goes in there. You can put a double A or a triple A, and I love that because whatever you have, you can use. Now, in terms of sizing, this is what it looks like next to my Razer Lance head. So it is a really nice size for a wireless mouse. Uh, and you can see what I mean about the difference in the quartz colours there, but still looks beautiful. Moving on, we're not wasting any time here. If I haven't covered anything that you want to know the answer to, just drop a um, comment and I'll get back to you. But next we are unboxing the Razer Black Shark. So as far as I'm aware, they used to only do these in black and white, but they've basically just released them in quartz. They've also released a new... Uh, kitty pro headset but they've sent me this one which honestly i'm happy with i love they look beautiful so let's unbox these they come in this nice protective case which we love um also they actually came with a bag in the bag if that makes sense so that you can actually put them in a nice little case if you carry them around with you i probably won't use it because they normally just stay on my setup especially since they're not wireless they're only wired so they have the Razer logo on the side, as you can see there, and then the wire and then also the mic. And if you're wondering what the mic sounds like, I am literally recording the voiceover for this video with this headset. So you have a whole seven minutes to see what you think of it. To say these are so much more comfortable than my Krakens, which are on the right here. As you can see, they have a lot more padding than the Krakens. So that's probably why they're a lot more comfortable. As I said, they are wired. You have this little extender that comes with all of Razer's headsets. So you can have a super long wire wire on this one you change the sound and the mic volume uh with this little knob as you can see there on the right the kraken you do it with the other knob <laughs> okay moving on to the keyboard this is another product that they used to only do in black and white which they have now released in quartz it is the razor huntsman 10 keyless as you can see on the right there i do have the razor black widow v3 on my setup currently but this one I was so pleasantly surprised with. This is basically kind of a smaller version of the one that I currently have, but it also has a different wrist rest. So this wrist rest is foam padded and it is so much more comfortable than the Razer Hunts one, Razer Huntsman one, sorry. And I was so pleasantly surprised with this. It comes with the cable as usual. That's all boring stuff, but it's USB basically to USB-C course it comes with the instruction manual and your lovely quartz stickers but let's now look at the keyboard so this is what the keyboard looks like it has kind of like three different height stands I guess on the back of it it also has this really nice kind of like film on the back of it which you can only really see when you kind of like shine the light on it but I think that's such a nice touch it looks really beautiful love that this is what it looks like kind of next to the Black Widow 3 and the Orochi gaming mouse and also with the RGB on so you can kind of see the size difference there 
But let's talk about what really blew me away with this keyboard is the sound difference between the Huntsman and my old Black Widow V3. Yes, I'm saying old because I already know I'm going to be using this Huntsman more than my Black Widow. So the Hunts, oh, the Black Widow has the green switches, whereas the Huntsman, as you can see, it has red switches and also sound dampening phone. It sounds amazing. Just listen. Moving on then to the last product in this unboxing video, we have the Razer Strider Gaming Mouse Mat. Honestly, I do not know if I'm gonna use this or not. I'm still undecided because it is a gaming mat. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna use it, but let's unbox it anyway. And to be honest, I probably will end up using it somewhere because it looks absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at it. It also feels amazing. So on the back, we have the classic kind of Razer Quartz um, gray on the back there as you can see it is super soft but it's also kind of got like some texture to it so it's got some grip which is really nice honestly the mouse moves on it really really nicely like it moves with ease but it doesn't kind of just like go all over the place when you don't want it to I also tested my wrist rest as well and that was the exact same so yeah I will definitely probably give this a go see if I can make it look nice on my setup um, we'll see and so that is it for today's unboxing video. This is my collection as a whole. So a quick overview. If you are debating what headphones to go for, I recommend the Black Shark. They're so much nicer in the audio and the mic. If you are looking to get a keyboard, I would definitely recommend the Huntsman. I think it sounds so much nicer. I also just prefer the look of the smaller ones. And then in terms of mouse, obviously I've only tried the Lance Head and this one, but wireless always wins for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to comment if there's anything that you want to know that I didn't cover. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, especially if you love pink and setups like me. And I will see you guys in my next video.